Bridget Bjorklund sank into the rocking chair on the back porch of the Blessing boarding house and fanned herself with a folded newspaper. Her swollen feet hurt, her back ached, and the thought of rising and doing all this over again in the morning was more than she wanted to think of at the moment. "'Moore, where are you?' Hilmer called. "'Out here!' Her son was the last person she wanted to talk to this evening. If he saw how weary she felt, he'd tell her again to send for Augusta, her eldest daughter and his older sister. Hilmer thought he knew all the answers, especially since he had become the area's representative to the Constitutional Congress for the soon-to-be state of North Dakota. While they hadn't been formally admitted yet, everyone knew it was just a matter of time at this point. If the representatives and other politicians could come to an agreement, that is. She plastered a smile on her face and heaved herself out of her chair. After swatting one of the mosquitoes that persistently whined in squadrons around her head, she opened the screen door just in time to almost bump into her son's broad chest. Were you sitting down? Are you all right? She ignored his questions and only through sheer will kept herself from limping on her way to the stove. The coffee will be ready in a couple of minutes. She brushed a lock of snowy hair off her forehead with the back of her wrist. After all the wishing for the wind to die down last winter, now she would give an entire day's baking for a breath of breeze. Hot, isn't it? Oh, that doesn't begin to describe it. She rattled the grate and added a few twigs and bits of kindling to the coals in the stove. So, how was your trip? Hilmer shook his head. Wrangling, that's what. Those blowhards can find more to argue about than anyone I've ever seen. Every one of them has an opinion on every little issue and thinks his is the only right one. Seems like every time there's something the railroad men don't like, the papers get lost so we can't vote on it. Between the railroad and the flour mills, the owners want to squeeze the life right out of the farmers. I never in all my life have seen such goings on. Bridget kept herself from reminding him that he had wanted to serve in the Congress. He was one of only ten Norwegians who'd been elected to represent the counties, and the honor had been good for them all. Surely losing papers like that can't be legal. No, of course not. But no one can prove anything. So when will we be a state then? Who knows? Even though the territory is officially divided, we have issues to hammer out, and the people must vote to ratify the Constitution first, like I told you. 